we're transforming the parent function y equals the absolute value of x to the transform function y equals negative 2 absolute value of x plus 6 plus 10, first you just want to worry about translating the function's origin uh, um, up and down and left or right. To figure out how you're moving your graph, you would look at the number beside the x, so right here, like on the inside of the little lines, um, uh, to tell whether you move left or right. And then the last number in the end, on the outside of the absolute value lines, that tells you whether you're moving up or down and by how much. Since um, the number next to the x is a positive 6, you'd move uh, left 6, and since the number on the end is a plus 10, you'll be, uh, you'd be moving the function up 10 units, and then since there's a negative sign, you would take the, the function and flip it upside down, which would be the dotted line here. Um, since there's also a 2 in front of the parentheses, you would have to stretch the function by 2, Basically, all this does is change the slope from um, 1 over 1 to 2 over 1. The dotted line, like I said before, represents the function before the stretch. And the solid pink line here is um, the uh, transform function. So, moving on to the domain and range and whether it has an asymptote. The domain for the transform function is all real numbers. I know this because x has no bound. The range for the function is all the range of, for the function is all real numbers less than or equal to 10. And lastly, there are no asymptotes.